Hey, Kimmy. Um, okay. And Alex, because I think I'm going to give this to Alex, too. I'm going to show you how I, um, how I use ultravid.com. All right, so I'm going to pick this movie. Now, there's some pop-ups are going to open, but as soon as they open, go ahead and close them out because they are annoying. So I click on the movie that I want, which is, in this case, Edge of Tomorrow, which is a great movie. And then, if it automatically loads up, um, I'm going to see, first of all, who the streamer is, because I could go ahead and use it as it is. All right. This is a good streamer. I'm not even worried about going down here to choose anyone else. If I were to go down here and choose anyone else, then it would be this one, vodlocker.com, because usually, um, also, if SockShare is in there, I'll use him as well. Um, but... In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the one that's up here. So, a lot of times you'll see an ad that's placed right here in the middle. You don't have to click on them because it's just going to open up another web page, another annoying pop-up, so I don't, I, don't worry about it. You can go ahead, once you full screen it, if there's an ad here, once you full screen it, that ad will go away. So, you go ahead and click on the movie and wait for it to start it could take a minute to load so because you can't play it until it actually starts loading so just bear with me Don't worry, it will load. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and full screen it. See how beautiful the picture is? It just looks it's it just looks so nice. Let me try it again. There it goes. See how beautiful it is? It's a little staticky in the beginning. Don't worry about it. The movie is absolutely beautiful. See, the picture quality is absolutely beautiful. And that's it. I mean, that's all you have to do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Because I want to show you another movie that has an ad that pops up in it. Um, that way you know exactly what to do um, if that pops up. Is it a movie? No, I'm making a video for Kim and Alex. Hi. Let's try. He said hi. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wait for the new releases. And I just want to show you what happens. Look at this. Falling Skies. That is an awesome awesome new tv show and the cool thing is is the the new season um season four episode one isn't supposed to come out till next week and it's actually on here already me and my kid me and the kids um just finished watching it it was really good all right so let me click on all right if you guys are interested in ufc any pay-per-view ufc fight um is on here by the end of the night so you don't have to pay for pay-per-view Trust me, if there's something I want and that I that it's going to cost money, I will find it. You can best believe that I will search until I find it. Alright, um, let me just pick a movie here. Alright, let's try American Loser. Alright, so I'm going to scroll down. And right here it should pop up. Let me see what this looks like. Alright, and this is the same way. This is the same thing. No ads. And see, exactly. This is by VodLocker. VodLocker is a great streamer. But let me pick a different... Pro oh, there's no more links under that because it's only VodLocker. So that's great. Let me try a new one. Another one. Because I want to show you exactly 
what happens when it's um when it's a streamer that has like an ad give me a minute <laughs> all right so let's try Nicolas Cage's new movie Rage <laughs> Just give that a minute to pop up. And guys, I've learned all these by trial and error. You know, choosing, you know, clicking on each streamer to see how to get around it. And some streamers, you can't even use them. Some streamers go straight to a pop-up ad um, expecting you to download their downloader so you can upload the video into their downloader and it's just it's a bunch of crap so all right this one don't have no other links in it either okay so take for instance this one i don't know who this is streamed by because it don't say it but do you see this little x right here now the only way to watch if this if you really 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 want to watch this movie and there's no other streamer to use it. I'm going to show you how to get around this one. This little X right here, you click it, and it clicks off that big box. And then you just push play. And that's it. And then there goes the movie. It's already good. Um, all right. Now let's find another one. All right. Let's look at this new movie, Torment. See what pops up for him. Let me see, see, he's got a whole bunch of streamers down there. This is an easy one. You just click the play button. I really want to find one that has an ad on it so you can see. Okay, this one, whenever you see close, add, and continue as a free user, this is usually by Puttlocker, which is a great streamer. Now, I used to think that you'd have to close this to continue. You can do that, but why go through all that? Just full screen it if it lets you. If it don't, oh well. Okay. You can press play, and once this starts playing, you can full screen it. See? And this ad, the ad went away. That little close bar click as a free user went away. So just put it on pause and let it load for a couple secs and you're good to go. So yeah, don't ever worry about those big ads that are just in the middle. Just full screen it. If it don't full screen right away, click play. But if you do find an ad, if you do find a movie that you want to watch, and it doesn't let you full screen it, go ahead and close ad and continue as a free user. And then hit start video. There you go. And then that's it. And then you just click play. You see how beautiful that is? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, and that is it. Um, let me go ahead and upload this video and I will get it to you guys straight away. Bye.